Hey guys, um, a friend put some mascara on me and put some conditioner and stuff in my hair. And so, anyway, um, like, yeah, I thought I would make a video and talk to you guys because, um, I don't know why. I've been wondering, like, why do we spend so much time being down on ourselves? Like, I've spent the majority of my life feeling insecure and being down on myself for whatever, like for my body, for my face, for whatever, like being negative. Um, and I wonder why it's so easy. Like why, why do girls especially, I mean, but maybe guys do it too. I don't know. Tell me in the comments, tell me if guys do it as much as girls or if girls beat themselves up more. Like, why do we spend so much time like feeling insecure and being beating ourselves up for something that we have absolutely no control over like our face or our body or whatever our gender or whatever um whatever we have that we don't like like what is the big deal why do we focus so much on it and i realized that um like one thing you know, I told you all that little trick, right, with your getting outside your head and getting into the moment. You gotta, like, close your eyes and tell your brain to shut up and then, um, be, then open your eyes and just be your eyes, not your brain. Okay, then look around your room, look around your world, see reality for what it is instead of living inside your head. Where if you're living inside your head, then your nose still looks the same, okay? If you be your eyes, your nose should look smaller than when you're living in your head, okay? That's how you know you're either in your head or in your eyes, okay? Now, I'm trying to learn to spend more of my life in my eyes than in my head, okay? Because you you have to be in your head for some stuff. Like, sometimes you have to think, sometimes you have to like figure stuff out or think about whatever but you don't have to live there you don't have to spend all of your current reality trapped inside this brain that um likes to rehash the past and likes to worry about the future and doesn't actually live in the moment which is where your eyes live all their lives okay and so it's also where your body lives your body has amazing potential and the ability to do a lot of things that your brain doesn't even think it can do but um your brain doesn't even know what all your body can do without your brain okay so sometimes you need to get outside your brain get into your eyes and watch your body and see what it does okay because it has tricks to show you that um, it can do that, you know, you can only see with your eyes, not your brain. <laughs> okay, your brain distorts everything, including your reality, and it makes you think that you can't dance, or it makes you think that you suck at something, or that you're not smart at whatever, and that you're not good at whatever your brain is often wrong okay you might not realize that because you think you're smart but maybe you are smart in some ways but you're also not smart in other ways okay like all of us are just people and we have brains we don't have to let our brains be little dictators and control our whole lives okay a lot of us let our brains control our whole lives, which is wrong, which is stupid, okay? It's what, it wastes a lot of your life if you only live in your head. You gotta get outside of it, and I hope you do, because you should. It's a wonderful outside of your head. That's where reality is. That's where you are. That is where you are outside of your head. Like, right now, I'm on YouTube, even though I'm thinking, because I'm trying to talk so I'm thinking about stuff, whatever, so I'm still living in my head, kind of right now, but I'm also just being my eyes, I'm using my brain instead of it using me, okay, if it was using me, then it would start looking at, like, my nose or something, okay, because 
my brain freaks out about my appearance, okay? So I'm trying to not even look at the screen because I want to be in my eyes right now and I would rather be in my eyes and look around the room and talk to you guys because if I just keep rambling, then I don't think about what I'm talking about. I just talk about it and I just be in my eyes and I look around the room and I use my brain to talk to you guys and tell you stuff, whatever I'm telling you. But I don't have to think about it, okay? I just have to let it go. Let it go out my mouth. Just use my mouth. Use my brain. Use my eyes and be my eyes, okay? I'm being my eyes. I'm using my brain, which is in my body. So I'm using my body, using my brain, being my eyes, and rambling about much of nothing because now I'm trying to think about it because now I'm back in my brain it's so hard to stay in your eyes but now I'm in I'm my eyes again okay because I'm thinking about being my eyes okay so thinking about not thinking which is is actually thinking so boom back in my brain no get out of your brain get into your eyes okay so I'm in my eyes Looking around my room, seeing stuff. I even glanced at YouTube and I didn't notice my nose, which means I was still just being my eyes, okay? I can kind of look at you guys with my peripheral vision and I don't have to notice what my nose looks like. I'm still being my eyes, but I have to be careful because if I start looking at like my nose or my wrinkles or or, or, I don't know, looking for weird eyebrow hairs or chin hairs or whatever. Who knows? Okay, your brain thinks that it needs to look at all this stuff. And it doesn't really. But it automatically does. Like right now, okay, first thing I looked at when I looked at myself. Then first thing I looked at was the wrinkles on my forehead. Okay, second thing I looked at was my nose. Okay, either neither of which matters. Because... Like you, when you're watching me, you're probably looking mostly at my eyes or maybe my mouth or maybe my hair or my shirt or the room, whatever. Maybe you're looking at the shelf and wondering what the fuck is going on with the shelf, okay? But um, it's my duct tape enclosed shelf, okay? I found that by the dumpster and I brought it home because it's actually like a shoe shelf thing, but... um. It works better for duct tape and clothes. That's way easier to put clothes away on that than it is to hang them up. So, <laughs> clue for all of you if you're looking for a good, easy way to hang stuff up. 